All right, so yeah, we have to actually start talking about it. Gravitation origin. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't expect him to go down so many random and weird routes. Okay, so let's talk about the problems that you know I've been through on my first stream of the game. First of all, pop-up windows of ads. Why? It seems like they didn't learn anything from Sprite Fantasia, their mobile game. If they did learn something new, it was it was the fucking ad pop-up. That that's highly unnecessary, first of all. That doesn't even need to be a pop-up. That could have just been popping up at the top right, you know, just just there. And not creating like a total inconvenience to other players or especially new players. That ad pop up is the worst thing you could have done. And not only that, they're using AI. <laughs> they're using AI for all the icons. Like if if I have to show it. Hold on. Where is it? That's AI. You can tell it's AI by the way it's shaped. Like it's half drawn, half AI. And it's so unsettling too. Okay, this is new. I don't remember seeing the whole pop-up thing. All right. And these are also AI icons as well. That's also AI as well. <laughs> like it's such a weird and unsettling choice for them to do. But yet everything else is like normally drawn. I'm hoping that those are placeholders. At best, those, uh, those better be placeholders. Because you can tell like that they're that they're really different. And like I said, it could have just been popping up right here. You know, the further you play, you know, these packages pop up. Boom, you can do that. But there's also another thing. This game has a lot of potential. Yeah, I can grab these now. But yeah, this game has a lot of potential. That's the sad part. This has so much potential from the original Grand Fantasia just with all the quality of life that they already added like being able to switch between your gear just by these numbers and you don't have to go in there and just one two three like just right click not only that you have more pages you're gonna have more pages of loot so you can be even more of a hoarder than you probably already fucking are <laughs> that's 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 the only downfall of that you're gonna be even more of a hoarder and they did like little things like this like they made these little cards uh i don't know why they did this considering you can't take them off of your sprites because those are one and done usage but you can archive them for an odd reason abilities aren't in the game yet um the next thing that is a huge issue is the dungeon limit now, I don't mind a dungeon limit because I've played Eden Eternal. Eden Eternal is five entries. Why the fuck are we at two entries? And why the fuck are we using their flawed system of dungeon en entry that is the same issue with Infernal Dungeon? If you die inside the dungeon and you come back to that, to the soul preservation crystal, go back in there just to join your friends. Guess what? That counts as an entry. So not only did you waste the first entry of your day, you died and now you have to waste the second entry of your day. I showed this on stream and I don't know why we have this because you also got to look at this too. The reset timer is zero. So as soon as you leave, boom. It counts as a reset, but let's keep in mind the dungeon itself does not reset at all. 
it is still the same dungeon. So if you die halfway through the dungeon, like you cleared all the mobs, and you die to a final boss, if you go back in, the dungeon isn't reset. Guess what? All those mobs are still dead, and that final boss is waiting for you. And you just wasted another entry. I always hated this because Infernal was Infernal Dungeons had this major issue. They have to fix it to where if you reset instance, that counts as a entry entry usage. Not if you die and have to come back out here and go right back in just to rejoin your friends or allies. That sucks. Because if you're running a 10 man or a five man and your buddy dies, I'm going to tell you guys this sages and clerics are way more needed. Now there is no if, ands or buts about it. They are way more needed. Now they are crucial for every last dungeon run to not waste an entry. And what makes it worse is that I could just bring you all the way to the, um, to the priest. Oh, uh, they don't show that. They don't show that actual like um, timer for it, the cooldown. But if I remember correctly, there the revives are a very long cooldown. That's something you have to actually like keep in mind: is the revives take quite a while to come back up. Unless they've changed it. I doubt they have. Which is, you know, a big issue. You would have to be sitting there. Or they're going to make you rely on the shitty stone. Revive stones. Here they are. The fucking blessing stones. Those are going to be way more needed now as well. Another thing I don't like is the fact that a lot of my texts is just randomly cut off they have to do adjustments to details for your ui scaling because if i zoom in way too large zoom out by one still way too large still cuts off everything okay i zoom out why is that so cut off it shouldn't be cut off Yeah, I'm zoomed out. It That should be fully displayed. That's another issue that I ran into. But the dungeon entry thing is the more thing that I'm pissed about than anything, honestly. Because that that's going to really piss off a lot of new players. And you know, if a new player does the soloing and he dies and goes, goes back in and figure out that Damn, my second entry is gone because new players are going to die inside of Perry Cave, obviously, especially if they chose to play Archer, Mage, or Ninja. Because those classes are very, very, very squishy. And not only that, uh, damage calculation has been changed. You don't do like major, huge damage. But, you know, it's it's still noticeable that you're going to be taking a lot more damage. And now potions are a lot more needed, which I don't mind a difficulty change. Honestly, that's not too bad for me. But it is bad when your entries are used every time you, you know, enter a dungeon you already use the entry for. If anything, there should be a timer up here for the first entry. And once that runs out, you go in again. It's like that's your second entry. Like it, it should at least be timed. That would help a lot more than it just being blatant. Hey, fuck you! You used one of your entries just because you died. But um, yeah, that's that's one of my more pet peeves. I'm like I said, dude. This game. 
the original mm, how do i say this the original game had a lot of potential but this one has a shit ton of potential because of the quality of life they added there's so many quality of lives that i fucking love inside of origin that i wish was inside of grand fantasia well the original grand fantasia but it isn't they can't because it is an old system it is a very very old system and this one is a more updated system to where they can do rewards a lot easier so we have already seen like examples of that with this the seven day thing you, you could just come in here do quests and it and just you know claim the rewards this for events is going to be so fucking easy and i love that fact like that's going to be very cool to get rewards a lot easier you know they could do a lot of different things with that too uh, if I remember correctly, PvP is not a thing at the moment. So if you guys are trying to level up to level 40 just for PvP, PvP is currently not in the game at the moment. I thought that was going to be a major thing. Because <laughs> if they added in PvP as of right now at level 40, that shit would have been full constantly and people would have been playing the hell out of it. But at the moment, I feel like they release Gravitasia Origin early just to get some money. Because I swear to God, these better be placeholders. Because if you guys haven't noticed, they snuck in that this is an open beta. This is the first time we've heard of open beta. I want to, I want to take, take you guys through all their other posts. Hold on. And we're going to talk about this. Through all of this, these are pre-registered. None of these say OB. These just, this says global release. None of this says anything about open beta. Open, yeah, open beta. Can we go up here? Do you guys see OB, OB anywhere? Anything about open beta? Because I don't. And then they're doing like these little giveaway events and stuff like that. And look, even right here, as the first release, as soon as it released, there was nothing about open beta. And, and I want you to see, long-awaited Origin officially launches. And then we randomly have OB giveaway. Where did open beta come from? You guys didn't tell us anything about open beta. And this was immediately as it released. That, that's another thing I don't like that they just randomly snuck in. Out of all the official release talk, it just randomly is now open beta. That doesn't sound right at all. But honestly, I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to see where this leads. I'm going to try and level up as each level cap comes out try and keep up to date and we're going to see where this leads because like I said it has so much potential it has a shit ton of potential and also let's talk about one thing they said they were they were removing repeatable quests and repeatable quests are still in the game which absolutely makes no fucking sense at all 
And not only that, um, Ninja also has a fame restriction as well. If you guys don't know, your level 10 outfit, Ninja, no, what is it? Shinobi outfit is behind a uh, restriction for, what was it? Grass lane altar. And you need exactly a thousand four hundred. Let me just go ahead and show that. This. And, but there was a few like quest changes that I did like, like at like level. No, it wasn't level. It was doing the mine. The mines had gave a quest that dropped sprites for armor. That I fucking love. If they give you if they keep giving us up to date sprites on certain things, I will fucking love that. But the issue is that there's two sprites at the end that are just text. They don't tell you what it is. Now I'm gonna tell you what those what those uh, sprites are. The fourth one is warrior. The fifth one is ninja. So keep that in mind. The fourth the fourth sprite inside of that line is warrior armor crafting, and the fifth one is ninja craft. Well, ninja armor crafting. So if you guys want to craft, okay, for all new players, always just take silver leaf. Just, just fuck all of that. Just take, just take silver leaf. Silver leaf is the safest route from having a jumbled up mess of different sprites since we can only, well, since we have the ability to carry up to six different sprites. So you're going to be crafting a lot because you kind of have to keep updated or you're going to get majorly fucked good luck with trying to run just dungeon gear considering the limit is also a thing too good luck with that it would be better off just buying your gear from auction house honestly but um yeah i did like that they added a few pictures for the starting island just to show people a little bit of how to do things. But it would have been great to have a quest line to test if they knew how to do it. So they didn't go anywhere new with, imp imp yeah, with implementing like new quests that actually helped players learn. They just basically said, you know what, here's some pictures because we don't feel like coding new quests in just to make sure you did it right like you have a whole you guys have these whole books whole textbooks that you know get players to do certain things and you're telling me that you guys weren't just going to give them another book or at least a quest to at least teach them that way as well I mean I enjoy the pictures but you also got to remember that the pictures are also in what is it Taiwanese so Chinese technically so yeah I mean I there's a little English text but that's also going to confuse the shit out of newer players as well since this is a global release but that's more of a minor thing I'm just happy you guys actually you know put towards a little bit of effort to t help newer players that that was the main issue that i had brought up in one of my older videos that the game is still too confusing to learn and as i've seen some of the steam reviews people are still saying the game is too hard to learn welcome to grand fantasia the whole fucking game is confusing and it's going to continue to be confusing and to uh x legend decides to do guides like actual video guides I think they should have actually put in like a GIF animation 
of doing the things instead of just an image or a little video that plays. We know they have the capabilities of playing videos because they have a little cutscene, you know, at least play a little cutscene of, hey, this is how you do this. You know, you have a little cutscene as we enter the starter island. That would have been perfect to show people how to do things. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, you guys kind of did the same thing for Twin Saga. For a few things. If I remember correctly, I mean, it's been a long time since I've actually cared about Twin Saga. After the first shutdown. But, please don't fuck this up, man. Because Origin has so much potential with so much of the quality of life that has been added to this game. I swear. Because... With the pop-ups, it seems like you guys are definitely going to start going down the pay-to-win route again. Again. And that's the first thing that killed Grand Fantasia, the original Grand Fantasia, population. And why so many people enjoy private servers more. And speaking of private servers, I have two more private servers to do uh, showcases of soon. Soon. Because, uh, well, actually probably three. Because... The two other servers kind of revived out of nowhere. Which was weird and threw me off a little bit. But, uh, yeah. That's mostly all I wanted to talk about. I know the launch is dog shit. And we're quote unquote in the open beta randomly. And you have a little bit of text glitch. Not a good first impression. That's all I can say. Not a very good first impression. Hopefully they fix it. I know they're probably stressed as hell. Game development is not easy. And especially fucking MMOs. MMOs are not easy at all. It's actually probably one of the worst genres to actually work on. But since this instance base is a lot easier than an open world MMO. Which is a fucking nightmare to actually do. Take it for somebody who's actually doing game development right now. It is not easy. I know that. But if they were already in the state, they should have waited until next year to release Origin. I'm no, some people probably wouldn't want to hear that, but just just to be safe, it probably would have been better just to wait until like next year. <sighs> Okay, I got all that off my chest. That That's all I wanted to talk about. Like I said, I know it isn't the best release. And for newer players, if you ever need any help, just leave down a comment. And, uh, and I'll try and help the best I can. Considering that a lot of things have changed in the origin versus like the old Grand Fantasia. Which is still alive if you guys are preferring the old Grand Fantasia or want to experience the original Grand Fantasia before this. And get a taste of what's different. Uh, the thing that did throw me off the most is that uh, Machinist and Traveler aren't in this one. And they replaced it with Ninja, so they're probably going to replace... Yeah, they're probably going to add a different class. A new class again, now that I think about it. Hopefully it's something cool, because... Machinist and Traveler suffered a lot with the reputation lock because it was like all over the fucking place with the reputation locks with them. And hopefully they don't do that again. But a few just random shit, man. This this launch was not the best. But like I said, I'm going to keep up with it as much as I can and as much as I feel like it. But if I get burnt out or dislike where it's going... I'm going to quit and I'm going to go back to private servers on my free time. But yeah, but that's it. I'm going to end it off there. My ADHD keeps going on and see you guys in the next one. I'll try and upload the other private servers uh, when I get the chance or have downtime. Just be patient. Then, peace out.